Hello, welcome to a new lesson series on Nux.js. Nux.js is a Vue.js framework which allows you to create desktop application, mobile applications, progressive web apps, and server-side rendered applications. So in this lesson, we are going to cover the steps in the scaffolding tool. You can install uh, Nux using, uh, using npx create Nux app uh, tool, which is a scaffolding tool. We will each step of the questions that is uh, asked by the scaffolding tool. And once it's installing, we'll go through why we are starting to learn Nuxt and why it is important. Next, we'll go to the folder structure and what's the separate uh, depend, different folder structures mean. And next, we'll run the Nuxt project. So let's get started by creating the Nuxt project. So we have this create Nuxt app tool, which needs npx. I have npm version 6 point something. Uh, so with npm 6 uh, above npm 5.2, you will get npx default. If not, you have to install npx by doing npm install dash g npx. So let's do npx create nuxt app and the name of the project. So we'll do nuxt series. All right, so now we will get a bunch of questions to which is a configuration uh, for our NUC project. Okay. Uh, the name of the project, let's go NUC series. Description is fine, name is fine. I want to use npm as my package manager. You can use the cursor keys to go up and down. And uh, I do want a uh, framework css framework we are going to use tailwind css on this one which is which i think is a fabulous framework it's a utility first css framework and uh, you will definitely love it uh, any add-ons no i don't i do want the Nuxt.js server framework okay so do you we need axios i think we need axios you can use the space bar to select if you want to uh, since we are not going to create a PW on this situation, we are we are just going to create a universal app. So we don't want that. We do want ESLint, we do want Prettier, and we do want Lint stage files. So ESLint and Prettier will help us with the developer experience, and it's better to have that. Uh, do we need a testing framework? Let's go and install chest application which is the server side rendered we also do have a option to select single page app but we are going to do the ssr which is the server side rendered universal app finally yes we are going to use j uh, vs code so let's have a js config all right so now that is installing now let's go into why we need nuxjs so there are a few reasons why we need Nuxt.js. Let's go into the features. Here are the, some of the features. We can simply write view files. It uh, automatically compiles, transpiles, it does all the, all those stuff. Automatic code splitting. The code splitting is imagine that you create a single page application which has 40 pages. And on the initial load, we are even though we want to just view the home page, we are loading all the JavaScript that is needed for the whole 40 pages. Code splitting is we just serve the JavaScript that is needed for that specific page, which means faster initial render times. So that's a good advantage of Nuxt. So again, the, uh, another thing is server-side rendering, which we covered. Powerful routing in a view application, we just need we need to create the routing ourselves. But in Nuxt.js, we can just put the files that we want into a pages directory and then the routing will be automatically done by Nuxt.js. Static file serving, we can serve images, fab icons, all those uh, things can be done and we have a separate directory for that as well. Yes, to us 15, yes, it, it does minify your JS, bundling, CSS, all that is done by Nuxt. The managing of head element title and meta tags so SEO uh, get benefited using uh, Nuxt. Hot module replacement you will see that in action that is a developer experience 
preprocessor, SaaS, LESS, all that is pre-configured uh, and you can just use it. So HTTP2 push headers is, uh, is again another performant thing. So right now the default way of is for HTML file needs a style file. We first load the index.html and then because of the because of the link, let's say a style sheet, it again sends another request for the style.css. But uh, we can uh, the server push says when we load the index HTML, the server can put the style.css and other images push to the browser. So again that makes saves us a round trip of requests. So that is also configured by default in Nuts.js. And also finally the modular architecture. Right now we install Tailwind, which is a specific module we can go view auth is another module which we can and Nux provides a vast variety of modules and we also can now build our own modules and extend the application which is I think a very important feature. Okay, so now everything has been uh, installed. Let's do CD into our next series and run npm run dev. Okay, it starts on localhost 3000. Let's go to localhost 3000. 3000. All right, so we have a client and a server and everything looks nice. Now let's go through the full structure. All right. So we have assets directory where you put on the CSS files. So CSS SARS less files if you want. But right now we installed Tailwind CSS with our NUX so we get a Tailwind CSS file. Again, there is this readme file on each directory which explains what's going on. So here it contains uncompiled assets such as less SARS. So that's what this directory does. Again, here we have the components directory which is simple. We have our components here. The layout. So when we have a page, we this page gets rendered through a layout file. So here if you have a navigation bar, sidebar, all that will go in this layouts directory. Again, we can have multiple number of layouts uh, in a single Max project. Middlewares, if you want a function or something else to run before it goes through a page or a route, then middleware is the directory that you should put that file in. Pages. Right now we have an index.view, some text, and see what happens. So let's do let's do next. Is amazing, and you can see it automatically reloads. Okay, that's the pages directory. So if you create another file called about.view, let, let's simply create a template tag and do h1. about page and save and hit the about page oops I think we are not supposed to have and we are supposed to have only two spacing that's the prettier doing its work so let's go to about and it works so the routing does happen automatically we don't have to configure in a view, like in a view CLI project uh, plugins if you want some plugins JS plugin initialized before the view instance gets initialized yes that is also already we can do that within in the plugins directory the static files the fab icons other images that you want to have and all of these will be for example if, if there's fab icon here it can it can directly be accessed through the path slash and then the name of the file icon for example if we have a robots txt in the static directory we can it's mapped to robots.txt that's good store which is the state management system in view view x uh, we'll talk about that in later the test directory and other configuration files so that is uh, the trip of Nuxjs. I'll see you on the next one. Have a good day and thank you. Do share, do like and let me know what you think. Thanks.